Hi, everybody. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How are you doing on this Wednesday evening? Yes, it's Wednesday evening, and we are in the 21st week of Ordinary Time. All right. Well, um, there's been occasion where I've come to you on the rest stop in the middle of the week, mostly at uh, Shabbat on Fridays, but uh, I have been coming to you lately on Sundays, but here we are on a Wednesday. Amen. Amen. All right. So we're in the 21st week, as I mentioned. I did have just a little bit of surgery, so I might be speaking just a little um, oddly, but uh, but nonetheless, I'm still here and still speaking. Amen? Amen. All right, so what I want to do is I want to encourage you, if you did not do it, to go back on and read Sunday's lectionary readings, but because today is Wednesday, I am going to read from the dailies, all right? We don't normally do that but I'll read from the daily. So I want to read uh, today's reading. There is there is a reading in Psalm 119. So as you all know, Psalm 119 is the longest um, chapter in the Bible. It consists of, I believe, 100, let's see here, I think 170 six verses is that correct 176 verses um and also uh it is divided by the hebrew alphabet all right so the hebrew alphabet we have 22 letters in the hebrew alphabet so this is an acrostic poem um psalm 119 is an acrostic poem and each uh section there are 22 sections that represent the 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. Now, why am I saying that? I'm saying that because uh, today we are in the section that is designated as Mem, all right? So the Mem, Hebrew alphabet Mem. And let me tell you a little bit about Mem. All right, so we know it's the 13th letter of the Hebrew alphabet, um, and also that it signifies water. And it's really the waters of wisdom. We're back, we're back to wisdom again, amen? Dare I tell you what happened to my wisdom tooth? <laughs> but hallelujah, we have, we can, we can uh, uh, obtain wisdom from the Lord, amen, amen. All right, so 13th letter, um, of the Hebrew alphabet is Mem. Um, another thing here, let me see here. Mem, uh, oh, signifying life force, right? And it also, um, the origin of the name is supposed to be water, as I mentioned, and it is tied to water. And thus, Jesus, right? He is the living water. Um, and the waters of wisdom, knowledge, and toll. Amen? Amen. All right, so here we are under this letter Mem, and uh, for today's daily readings, it is Psalm 119. Let me find it. Yes, Psalm 119, and it's verses 97 through 104. All right, so we're just going to read this, and um, we're going to receive wisdom from God. Amen? Amen. Let's ask the Lord to give us wisdom. I'm, I'm almost wanting to rest rest and stop prior to our reading. But, um, and that's a good thing to do is, in fact, it really is a good thing to do, um, to ask the, the spirit of the Lord to give you wisdom and understanding as you read the word. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. It, it's Wednesday. We're doing some things new today. And we're going to, we're going we're gonna to rest and we're going to stop now. And then we'll read it and we'll rest and we'll stop again. Amen. So let's rest and let's stop and ask the Lord to give us wisdom as we read from this section of God's holy writ. Amen. Let's let us rest and stop at this time. Amen.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we want to thank you for your word. And thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are the word. And so as we read this psalm tonight, on this day that you've made, uh, we will ask, Lord, that you would give us wisdom by your spirit, that your spirit would give us wisdom and discernment uh, as we read in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hey, did I say that? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know if I did. It's Wednesday and I'm doing all types of things that are different, but this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. All right, so here we are for the reading, okay? Are we centered and we ready to go, okay? Got both feet on the ground, amen, amen. So here is the reading. Psalm 119 verses 97 through 104. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. I have kept my feet from every evil path so that I might obey your word. I have not departed from your laws for you yourself have taught me how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, therefore I hate every wrong path the word of the lord thanks be to god amen amen so here we have the words of the psalmist um it's a song amen in this um uh under mem in this section of psalm 119 as i said mem is the 13th letter in the hebrew alphabet and um so there are 22 letters in the hebrew alphabet and this psalm is divided into 22 sections here we're talking about how the psalmist is talking about how um, they love the lord's law and the importance on meditating on the word. Need I say day and night? Amen. I'm meditating on the word of God all day long. All day long. So here we are. I'm meditating on the word of God. I want to encourage you to do that. To meditate on the Lord's word. Find a verse. Sit with it. Ask the Lord to speak to your heart. We, we want to continue to receive wisdom from God, from his word. Amen? Amen. All right. So uh, I think that we can rest and we can stop. I'm not going to do a whole lot of ponderings, as you see. <laughs> uh, we want wisdom. And, uh, and something happened there to my wisdom tooth. Um, it may be gone, but we want wisdom from God. Amen? Amen. All right, so uh, let's rest and stop again. And uh, and I just want to encourage you to read the word of God, meditate on it day and night. Ask the Lord to speak to you. Ask the Lord to, to get the word inside of you. This, this Sunday, in fact, this past Sunday, we went back to uh, John in the sixth chapter, the latter portion of, um, of those verses. And Jesus still... Uh, explaining to the people there in a synagogue in Capernaum about how he is the bread of life, right? And so once again, we take in the bread of life. We take in Jesus. We, we, we feast on the word of God. Amen. Not 
not the C word. We're not, we're not going there. It's, it's not um, that we eat him, you know, like, like the C word. Um, but it is that we take him in. We, and when we take him in, then something should be coming out more Christ-like characteristics, right? We should be reflecting that in the world and amongst our brothers and our sisters and our neighbors, right? So, um, so, so, you know, and it says here, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. All right, on, on that note, let's rest and let's stop. Amen. Yes. Yes. Our Father and our God, once again, we want to thank you for your word. Thank you for the refreshing, refreshing and the refreshment that your word brings us as we feast on your word. Amen. We pray, Lord, that um, as your word gets inside of us, Lord, that we would be reflective of your word out in the world, um, your world. So, Lord, we thank you and we praise you for this moment and for this daily reading. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right, my friends, go. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all at the very next rest stop. Amen. Amen. See you soon. Bye.